Fire Boon. Yes, indeed, the chance started yesterday at Yankee Stadium. Aaron Boone came out to get ready to bring in Clay Holmes, and he heard it from the Yankee faithful. We're going to get to that. We'll show that here momentarily. But guys, of course, I am Pete Simonetti for NYY News TV, and I didn't want to take a chance to talk a little bit about that, but then also about the Rays series coming up, what the Yankees really have to do. But Aaron Boone has been a mess for the Yankees for a while, guys. You know, I don't have to go back on all of it. Anybody that is familiar with this channel, you know that I have really been leading this charge of Fire Boone chants, of Fire Cashman chants, letting your voice as the fan, the paying fan, be known that enough is enough. We're tired of this. We're tired of the nonsense. We're tired of the, of, of the no accountability. We are tired of the excuse. New Yorkers have a, have a special radar of sensing bullshit, and we typically call it out, especially... Me, I call it out when I see it. And I tell you what, man, somebody even said yesterday, well, it wasn't Boone's fault because Clay Holmes didn't really blow it. It was a couple of blue, but guys, it, it, he blew it. He blew it. I don't want to hear that. So in 2001, if you ask Mariano Rivera, hey, Mo, it was a bloop single off Luis Gonzalez's battle. It's a great pick. Did you blow it? Yeah. Unfortunately, I did. Doesn't matter how it happens. You you, you blew the start. So anyway, but that's, that's Twitter for you. You know, everybody's going to, Going to find some different things. But again, guys, this is from the New York Post today. Here is the headline. Fire Aaron Boone chants ring out after another Yankees decision backs, backfires. And it should say there, not Yankees decision, an Aaron Boone, another manager decision backfires. Aaron Boone decision backfires. And Aaron Boone said, I have no hesitation at all. This was planned. We have this stuff planned in advance of the moves that we are going to make. Oh, that's the Yankees, folks. We know a lot of this stuff already, right? It, this is what it is. But for anybody who did not hear it, let's go ahead and jump back over. Uh, let me cut that out, put this on, and let's play it over. And Cabrera let's hear it. is in left. And here's Quan. So it looks like basically what you have right there is two different chants going on relatively at the same exact time of fans voicing their displeasure when it comes to Aaron Boone. And guys, this is going back on my end to last year. A lot of you guys that are familiar with me, ever since Aaron Boone, I gave him year one. And I always said that with everybody. You got to give this guy year one. But guys, it is as clear as day that there is something wrong in the Yankees front office. There is also something wrong in the Yankees clubhouse. This team never looks prepared. There's a quote that I love. The Yankees expect to win, but they do not play to win. I've said that, I said that in Boone's first year. Towards the middle of the season, the Yankees expect to win, but they do not play to win. And it's frustrating as a fan because we knew where we were in 2017. We knew a lot of things went right, and it, it had to take some level of management to get the best out of these guys. A lot of those guys on that club, you know who I'm talking about, whether it was injury or whatever you want to put it at, they kind of trended downwards immediately afterwards. You know, guys like Tony Pena were gone. Of course, Joe Girardi got fired. But there's something in this Yankee clubhouse. I don't care what anybody says. And it's a problem. And it's a disconnect. And it's a serious disconnect. To the pep point, again, if you go back to last postseason, you should never, never, have an opportunity when your starting pitcher is calling out the manager and telling the media, go ask him. I don't know. I don't know why that didn't happen. Go ask that guy. What do I know? Then then your closer, Clay Holmes, who's of course been a topic of conversation this year when it comes to Boone decisions, who has a, a 5.55 ERA from the All-Star game last year. I was ready. Boone goes, you weren't ready. He goes, I told him in the morning I was ready. I was asked. I said, yes. Boone says, No. Then they have to have a meeting together to be like, oh, let's hush this up a little bit here. There's a miscommunication. Then Harrison Bader. I didn't know I was leading off. Boone goes, everybody got a lineup card. He should know. You don't think it was a good idea to pull your guy aside and talk to him? And then Brian Cashman yesterday with his presser. The same nonsense. The process, the process, the process, the process. The process is nonsense. That's what the process is. He also said in the offseason process, not about a win and loss record. Guys don't get fired because of winning losses. 
as long as the process is okay, it's good. Well, my understanding is if my process is what it should be, then whatever goal I'm looking to reach, I should be getting closer to that or reaching that goal. That's when you know you got a good process. But guys, again, just to switch on over to this, this is something you guys know. Yankee Stadium needs to be loud. Fire boon chance ASAP from start to finish. Horrible. And you guys know this is something that I've been on for a while now. Once a fucking get, if all of Yankee Stadium is not screaming fire boon at the top of their lungs, we have fucking issues. The starting pitcher is cruising. And it's just more and more, man. It, it, it's, it's more and more. So we'll see what happens. But of course, guys, we have a series coming up now with the Tampa Bay Rays. As you look right over here, hopefully you guys can see it somewhat there. Johnny Brito gets to start tomorrow night. Saturday, it'll be Domingo Herman. And then on Sunday, we get Garrett Cole. So you guys already know the deal here. Yankees got to take one of those first two. No doubt about it. Yankees got to try to take one of those first two. Get the W. Uh, hopefully Cole can then dominate. But, 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 but. We got to see, is Harrison Bader going to be okay to start? He collided with IKF. Analytics. IKF in left field. Who the hell knows why? But he is. That's the process, everybody. The process right there for you. Uh, Oswald Peraza, who is one of the Yankees' top prospects. Of course, you guys already a know two or three, whatever list you check in in the, in the preseason, two or three Yankee top prospect. What happens with Oswald Peraza? Well, he doesn't play in a couple of days. Boone decides to pinch run him. He comes up with something strained. There really hasn't been much more information on anything um, about it since. Matter of fact, while I'm here, I'm actually going to do another uh, quick check on Oswald Peraza, but I don't remember reading anything on why Peraza left. Uh, let's see. Well, let's take a listen to Boone. Oh, that's going to be too long. I don't, and plus on top, but I don't even want to hear his mouth. He rolled his ankle in the base. He's getting it looked at. Aaron Boone said he doesn't know if it'll be an IL situation. So there we go. We don't know if it's going to be an IL situation for Oswald Peraza. Um, but what we do know, what we do have, is that this guy right here, let me switch on over. Jake Bowers. Jake Bowers went absolute jack job city for the Yankees. And boy, oh boy, I tell you guys one thing though. Look at that swing. That is a 150% swing made for Yankee Stadium. Now, should everybody get their hopes up about Bowers turning into some regular? As Dan Rourke here says, Jake Bowers will be a Yankee for the next three to four years. That will be unbelievable. Uh, go follow Dan Rourke, by the way. Uh, good guy. I like Dan a lot. Um, but it's just, it's just, it's, it's funny. He got the swing for it. The whole thing for Bowers is, are those adjustments that he made that was very much talked about in spring training where he was successful and then in AAA where he just tore the shit off of the ball? Is that something that's going to stick with him? And here's the great thing for the Yankees. Great thing, unfortunately, or fortunately, however you want to see it, they got injuries. So Bowers should be in that lineup every single day. Left field, who knows? Calhoun started to hit a little bit. Aaron Boone said, Willie bangs. Well, Aaron Boone, tip my cap to you. Willie's been banging. He's been banging. I talk about riding the hot hand. Right now, he is somewhat the hot hand. We don't know what's going to happen with Peraza, but I still believe no matter what, Oswald Peraza needs to be in that Yankee line if he's healthy. It's, it's a shame what they're doing with that kid, but that's a whole nother story. So your outfield really... You got to decide what that looks like because one thing that we got to also talk about is Oswaldo Cabrera has not been good. I mean, I mean, he's been really, really bad. And with Calhoun getting hot, with Bowers getting hot, either this kid got to pick it up or what's going to happen with Oswaldo Cabrera? I don't know. We got Stanton hopefully coming back soon. 
But the Yankees might have to consider, uh, you know, what does that look like when some of these guys get back? But as of right now, what I need the Yankees to do in the Tampa series is to play Jake Bowers every single day. Ride the hot hand, see what happens. Maybe it's a it's a two-week stretch. Maybe it's a month thing where he's hot. Maybe it's a Matt Carpenter situation. Maybe it's what Dan Rourke said. He's a Yankee for a couple of years. You never know. You don't know until you try. And the Yankees have a great scenario here where they kind of have to try. So see if that AAA, those AAA numbers carry over a little bit. See if those adjustments may have brought out the best of Bowers. Before that in this game, too, his first AB lined out the deep left field on a bullet. So he's been hitting the ball hard. And one thing I talked about, I was actually told from AAA, is that he's barreling up everything. And he did it in spring. So, again, does this mean that that might be his only homer for the game? You never know. Does it mean he goes on a run? Does it mean he's a Yankee for the remainder of the year? Who knows? But the Yankees got a chance to try. And they got to try to get the Rays because they need to win two games. The Yankees cannot leave... These next three games against the Rays going to Oakland to face the Athletics. Down. Down. Another game. They got to try to pick up at least one. And that means they got to win two out of three against the Rays. Series starts tomorrow, guys. You know game season live is going to be there for it. And on top of that, folks, the NYYST podcast is on tonight. 8.30 live. Do not miss it. Game season is back tomorrow. Also tomorrow, Get Yanked is on at 4 p.m. Also tomorrow, over on Derek's channel, NYYPD, before the game. So, I'll be busy. I'll be busy. But guys, like, share, and subscribe to NYY News TV. If you are not yet, yet, we are closing in on 20,000 subscribers 20,000 unbelievable Yankee fans let's keep it rolling guys we're a little a little over 4,000 more to go but you'll be shocked how fast it goes you guys are the best I love you remember we are real talk for the real fan until next time guys I am out talk to you guys later